What we are now hearing from the Palace of the Prince of Monaco sounds like a crime thriller. An incredible rumor is currently circulating, Stefano Casiraghi, ex-husband of Caroline Monaco and father of her three children Andrea, Charlotte and Pierre, has allegedly been murdered by the mafia, Italian entrepreneur and racing driver Stefano Casiraghi, 30, was married to Caroline Monaco, 66, from 1983 until his death in 1990. They had three children, Andrea born in 1984, Charlotte in 1986 and Pierre in 1987. In October 1990, Stefano Casiraghi tried to defend his title as world champion in offshore boat racing. But it had just begun, when suddenly an incomprehensible tragedy occurred in front of the spectators. And in front of Caroline. Stefano Casiraghi in one minute off the coast of Monaco accelerated his racing boat to 180 km h overturned and died. Co-pilot Patrice Innocenti survived but could not explain the accident, I don't know what made the boat capsize, he admitted stunned. Kasiragi died at just 30 years old. He is survived by his wife Caroline Monaco, then 33, and three young children. I in addition to his work as a racing boat driver, Kasiragi also worked as a building contractor. In 1984, he founded Inigo, which has since become one of the most important companies in Monaco's construction industry. And that's where the mafia comes in, because even during his lifetime Stefano Casiraghi was suspected of having ties with this organization, but nothing was ever proven. They say that the mafia bought into the real estate market to launder money there, the princely house is shaken by scandals. Prince Albert, 65, knows nothing about the scandals, because the website Les Dossiers du Rocher has been revealing new secrets about corruption and criminal activity in Albert's inner circle. It is reported that four high-ranking Monaco officials from Prince Albert's inner circle are involved in corrupt deals. According to the newspaper Build, the resident now speaks out in the New York Post. After taking office in 2005, Albert sincerely tried to improve Monaco's shady reputation, but reality soon caught up with him. The royal family has seen firsthand that the power of corrupt groups is great. You look at what happened to Albert's son-in-law. This statement makes you sit up and take notice. There have been repeated rumors that Stefano Casiraghi was not killed in a 1990 racing boat crash, but was the victim of an assassination attempt by the mafia from Marseille. Stefano Casiraghi is said to have gotten in the way of the mafia thanks to his construction company in Eco. It was allegedly about controlling underground parking lots in the principality. John Carlo Myron, 70, a close friend, once said, I'm convinced he was murdered. Stefano had told him about the death threats the week before the accident, he told of his fear and that someone wanted to capture him. He also ordered a bulletproof car for $300,000, that's about 271,000 francs, but remember, that was a lot more money in 1990 than it is today. According to insiders, after the rescue, Kasiragi's body was seen in the harbor with a kind of turban on his head. Rumors are now swirling about whether it was intended to hide the sniper's bullet hole. Stefano Kasiragi's fears may not have been entirely unfounded, as a few weeks before his death he escaped an incident when his boat exploded off the coast of Guernsey. His mother Fernanda Kasiragi, 97, tells the Italian magazine Agi that her son felt he would not survive the rowing race. Stefano knew he was going to die on October 3, 1990. Princess Carolina confessed this to me. She told me, Mom, that day Stefano called me three times, as if he was afraid he would never hear my voice again. And he left his gold cross necklace on the dresser, which he never took down. He wanted me to keep them as a reminder of him. Stefano knew he couldn't go home. The principality is silent. There are many dark machinations swirling around the glamorous principality, many people know about it, some are surely involved, but no one wants to talk. According to the Build newspaper, no one will talk as long as Prince Albert is at the helm.